a glittering occasion. It is the final, but only one side can emerge victorious. Who's it going to be? Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. Stuart, how do you see this one going? The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan. Don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. A very good tackle. Sander Svensson. Determined defending. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. He's enjoying space. Just the challenge that was required. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Really good challenge. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Risky play. Oh, great attacking play. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick.
this is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. Live on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's premier club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, what a moment for both these teams. Just one step away from the final. But it's the visitors and their fans that are expecting to get through to the big day. But this is by no means an easy game for them, as their hosts can be really dangerous if they play at their best. An effective challenge. And here's the starting 11 for Real Betis. Well, it's not fashionable, but 4-4-2 can still be a good system, both with and without the ball. Key to success today will be the wide players. They need to be the main creators. Ali. That's a good looking pass. Oh, and off the bar. Borja Iglesias, such a key player for the manager, and I wonder what he might produce in this match, in your opinion. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat, and when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Can he finish? Great defending. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today, so they have to capitalise from set pieces like this. Playing it in and making sure it wasn't problematic. And that is going to be a free kick. Hector Bellerin. Fakir. Wasteful from Betis. Clean challenge. A Jose Perez. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending.
Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this, and an atmosphere to match the mood. Next, on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And the tension is palpable because we've reached the semi-final stage of the UEFA Women's Champions League. This, the first leg. It's Aston Villa up against West Ham United. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to have the courage to try and win the game and which team will be fearful of losing? The game plan of each coach will certainly be key today, Derek. A very good tackle. And here's the starting eleven for Aston Villa. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Moving forward effectively, but nothing comes of it. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, they're also playing in a 4 3 3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And after that challenge, a corner to come. They favoured a short one here. Still possibilities. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. It is a decent-looking attack here, but timely defending when it mattered. Rachel Daly. Effective challenge. Well, pressing really high. Hayashi. And the decision is one of offside here. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Oh, big chance! Sizoko, Abby Lee Stringer, attacking possibilities for West Ham, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, she keeps moving. A very timely interception. Not the best challenge, free kick.
Jordan Nobbs. Rachel Daly. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Might be a chance here. Well, that's not an attempt she'd like to have replayed over and over again, is it? Well, I think she got caught in two minds. Was she going to hit it with power? Was she going to pass it beyond the goalkeeper? In the end, she went for power. And the result is it goes horribly off target. Well, great read there to intercept. The most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this. The final itself. Who will prevail? Next on EA TV. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It is Getafe, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Well, he's frustrated, of course, but he knows they're now making chances.
And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Kepa begins in goal. David Alaba plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, Jude Bellingham has become one of the finest all-around midfield players in world football. That's no exaggeration. What do you expect to see from him today? Well, he comes alive around the box. He's so good at backing into defenders, rolling away from them, and then getting off his shots quickly. He's so difficult to mark, and that's why he's their leading goal scorer. Jose Lu and Bellingham. Determined defending. Valverde. And there the move ends for now. Chouameni, Bellingham, well nothing to split the two sides but this move looks promising, the save was a good one. Well what a good save that was, Real really should be in front now, that could prove to be a big moment in the game. And a tidy challenge. And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Jose Lu. He's in behind. 